benvenuti tutti. How are you loves? Welcome. Guess what today is? Pasta al limone. Do you notice anything different today? See these long? These are my Easter earrings. I may not even Easter bonnet, but I have Easter earrings. Look at these loves. My mom was stunned. She hadn't even seen them. I haven't worn them. I got them a few months ago and guess who they're by? Christian Soriano. Do you know that designer? He's the one in New York making all the masks now. Fabulous designer. Fabulous. These are here his earrings. I found them at, I think it was Marshall's. Marshall's Home Goods. Love it. In New York, up in the Bronx. That's where they were. Fabulous big earrings. Fabulous. So welcome today, loves. Is anyone here? Maybe you're all out and about. It's Saturday before Easter, and I thought we'd have a fabulous, fast, gorgeous pasta meal, pasta al limone. So if you're here, welcome. If not, I'm just going to cook this. I'm going to share it with my fat friends, loves. So this is a great pasta al limone from Bon Appetit that I found. I've made this for years. There's different ways you can do it, different configurations. Sometimes you can add an egg yolk. Sometimes you can add brown butter. Fabulous. All you need are a few really nice lemons. If you can get organic, that's even better. If not, really wash the skins really well. The best lemons I've ever had was when I was in Ischia, which is the great island off of, of, uh, of Naples, near Capri. Fabulous island. We, we uh, had two summers there that I sang with a lot of my fabulous friends, and we had the best lemons. They're just huge, amazing lemons. They're just the best, and I made this there. Hi, Mo. How are you, sweetheart? Welcome. Pasta al limone today. So I'm just going to turn on. I have my water boiling in the back pretty soon. I'm going to come to the boil. And I'm just putting this on medium. Because all we really have to do here, loves, I have um, zested in large, large pieces some of the lemon zest. Hi, Miss Cheryl. How are you? Welcome. We're doing our pasta al limone. I'm going to do it today with pappardelle. So I have the water, salted water in the back, coming close to the boil. I'm gonna use this beautiful pappardelle pasta that I've had. It's from Wegmans. It's very lovely. It only takes a few minutes to cook. So what I'm gonna do, loves, I'm gonna put this beautiful lemon peel. I just sort of cut the ends off and then sliced it very thinly. I'm gonna put it in the pan with some heavy cream. It's very easy. I'm not gonna, and I'm gonna add a little butter. I'm not gonna add any egg yolk or brown butter to this. So it's just heavy cream and these um, beautiful, the zest of the lemon. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna thicken this up. Then we're gonna add a little bit of butter. And what's lovely is to put some parsley on it. If you have beautiful parsley, even, I don't know, maybe basil might be lovely as well, but fresh parsley would be lovely. I don't have any. So what I thought I'd do is I had some beautiful organic celery and I just had the celery leaves and I chopped those up. So I'm gonna put those up top for a little bit of green at the end. I have my beautiful Parmigiano Reggiano, a big chunk. That's what's gonna go in too. And also some pasta water. We have to keep the pasta water at the end to use for our sauce lovies. So I'm just gonna put this up to medium heat and we're gonna thicken the cream. The cream with the beautiful lemon slices. It's gonna be fabulous. Then we're gonna add a little bit of butter just to thicken it. I have my beautiful Irish butter. Look at that yellow, gorgeous butter. Grass-fed Irish butter from Aldi, the best. Hi, Leslie, how are you, sweetheart? You're making pies and challah bread? Wow, go for it, loves. Yeah, I don't do challah bread. <laughs> it's delicious, but I don't try to even make anything remotely like those type of breads, those sweet dough breads. <laughs> no. Yeah, maybe I'll get there someday. But I thought I'd make this beautiful pasta for you. I think we're gonna have this for our, our Easter dinner tomorrow because I don't have anything else. I have a little chunks of ham here and there. Tomorrow, what I might do is I'm gonna put peas in it. I have some frozen peas. It would be lovely in here. If you have asparagus, <laughs> throw this in. Fantastic, it would be really, really fabulous. So what we're doing, we're just gonna thicken up our cream here, sweethearts. As you see, we're just gonna thicken up our cream. Is my water boiling? It's coming close. We're gonna put the pappardelle in, then I'm gonna finish it all in here. A little pasta water. It's a really fast sauce, sweethearts. Not a tricky sauce. It is heavy cream, but it's not, it's not thick of heavy cream because we're going to thin it out with the pasta water and then the cheese at the end. Hi, Eric Curtin. How are you, hi, loves? Eric. Mama says hi. Mama Lamberti's here. Yes, it's fabulous. So we just have our beautiful lemon zest and our heavy cream. We're just, hi, Ava. How are you, sweetheart? Happy Easter, everyone. I'm wearing my Easter Diva earrings for you guys. There it is. Boom, boom. 
They're a little heavier than my other ones. <laughs> Happy Easter, Eric. Thank you, Art. I appreciate that. We're just gonna thicken this up, thicken the cream up. If you cook the cream, the heavy cream, it is, it's great. Um, thank you, Eric. Thank you, sweetheart. Appreciate that. So we're just cooking this down with the lemon zest. It's gonna be so delicious. Yeah, it smells great already. And then I'm gonna zest a little more lemon zest with this one, make it a little finer at the end, and my Parmigiano, and then the butter, and it's all gonna to come together. Hi, Kim Stocker. Fabulous. Um, oh, so you wanna trade Parmesan crisps for challah bread? Well, we could do that, babe, but I have no more Parmesan crisps left. <laughs> I put them more. I a salad. I'll have to make more. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mark. How are you? Thanks, sweetheart. Happy Easter. Thanks, sweetie. Thank you. So we're just thickening up this beautiful cream. Then we'll add a little bit of butter to it and then the cheese and the pasta water. Ooh, Shay, you're making what? Homemade cinnamon buns for the oh, first time? Oh, I want them. Oh, oh my God. Oh, we were wanting to make those booze. We, we really did. We really wanted those. I may have to try it. I may have to try the homemade cinnamon buns for sure. I think it'd be fan fabuloso to make those. Let me know how they work out and which recipe it is, sweetheart, because that would be amazing. That would be amazing. So we're just going to thicken this up. As you see, we're thickening up the sauce. It's going to be delicious. My water is close. It's always like that. You think it's going to come to the boil, and then you watch it, and it's just still mm. not there yet. <laughs> All good. We're thickening up our sauce with, with the lemon. It's flavoring it a bit. It's not a very heavy sauce. It's a really nice sauce. Oh, Rice Krispie Treats. I mistyped. Oh, oh Rice Krispie Treats. Okay, sweetheart. <laughs> I don't have any more marshmallows. I only have about 40 marshmallows. I don't have enough to make the batch. I need 80 marshmallows. This is what happens, guys. I run out of things, and then I place my order, and it's another five days before I can get anything. I have tons of Rice Krispies and butter. I just have no marshmallows. <laughs> so that won't work so well. Oh, well, say la vie. There it is, sweethearts. So just thicken up this beautiful cream. And then we're going to put some butter in. And we're just waiting for the water to boil because that's how long it takes, as you know. So what are you guys making for Easter? Do you have hams? Are you making something special? I thought I was going to make this pasta. I'm going to add some peas, like I said. So if you're making anything special for Easter, let me know what you're cooking. I don't know what else I'm going to make. I mean, I could do some ham. I could put ham and peas in this. That might be delicious. I don't know. What do you think? Ham and peas in the pasta? Who knows? There was a dish once I remember a long time ago I had that had some really lovely ham in it with a cream sauce. It was delicious with peas. You never know. It might be good. A little blue cheese in there might be lovely. Or gorgonzola. Hi, Roberta. How are you, sweetheart? Just thickening up my cream here, loveys. I can put some salt and pepper in it. At the end, some some of the butter, some of the beautiful Irish. This is the grass-fed butter I use. It's great. From Aldi. Aldi's is great. We're just thick cream sauce here, sweethearts. Boom, boom, boom. We have it on medium heat. Ham and peas, yes. Okay, so I got a yes on that. Fabulous. Sounds delicious. Yeah, ham and peas would be lovely with the cream and maybe a little bit of lemon. We might think they would be delicious. Fabulous, loves. We're almost there, sweetheart. Always like that. I thought it was going to come to the boil quickly and boom. Ham with smothered potatoes. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, sounds, good. sounds good too, loves. Yeah, ham like a scallop potatoes. Oh, yeah. Prime rib. What? Eric Curtin? Good God. Prime rib and stuffed shrimp for Easter. You're lucky. Woo! Yeah. I made, I've made a few prime ribs in my life. They've never gone that well. I've always tended to thinking, okay, it's so big. There's all these mysterious ways to cook it in the ovens and then it always ends up overdone. I'm not a big prime rib lover. I know people love it. They think it's the best, but for me, it's just not, it's not my favorite thing. It's just not, it's, I prefer filet, but I know prime rib can be really great if you do it well. I've just always found that I have issues doing it. So Leslie said, we got a whole dinner, a turkey, potatoes, broccoli casserole, two kinds of stuffing, cranberry sauce, basically. Oh, that sounds great. Where'd you get that, Leslie? Did you make it or where did you find it? Mariana's. Mariana's, Wegmans. Where'd you get it? That's great, loves. Turn this down a little bit, sweethearts, just because, of course, now the cream is getting too thick and the water's not yet boiled. So, you know what, guys? I don't care. I'm putting the pasta in anyway. <laughs> this pasta cooks quickly. There it is. It's in. 
because it's been sitting there for about uh, half an hour trying to uh, get warm and I don't want my cream to get overdone. So I'm gonna put a little bit of butter in now, loveys, just a little bit at a time so I don't, um, so the sauce doesn't become too thick. It can do that and it's too thick and then that's what the pasta water's for, it's fabulous. Pasta water will thin out any sauce, it's great. Any sauce. Ooh, mom found some more marshmallows. Well, we may be able to make crispy treats, loves. Fabulous. Single batch. Boom, boom. So we're just adding a little cold butter to this, loveys, making it very beautiful. It's a very beautiful, simple sauce with the lemon zest, the cream, and the pasta water. So we're just boiling our pasta away here, sweethearts. Here we go. I'm going to check it out. There we go. We're just... There it is. Boom, boom. Our beautiful, beautiful tapadele. Gorgeous, gorgeous. It's going to be fantastic, loves. So put the butter in a little bit of a time. So in cream, so it doesn't separate. Here we go, loves. Gorgeous sauce. It's going to be fantastic. Yes. Hi, Annie Lynn. How are you, sweetheart? I know Annie Lynn has a meal coming for, um, for Easter that they're getting from a country club, right, sweetheart? You're, oh, you're making it from scratch, Wegmans? How dare you? Well, you said you were getting it from somewhere. I didn't know you were doing a whole Easter meal. Wow. Go for it, sweetheart. I'm not. Got the turkey from ShopRite. Been defrosting since Wednesday. Wow, you guys are going for it. No, no, no. I've been cooking every day for 33 days. So, you know what? We're having a real simple, nice Easter, Easter meal. <laughs> That's what we're doing. That is it, lovies. I may add a little bit of just cream to this, loves. A little bit more. Un poco tino. And cooking this down. Look at that beautiful lemony yellow color it has. Fantastic. Gorgeous. You might put a little salt in it, a little black pepper. It's like Thanksgiving, but Easter. Yes, you're right. You're right, it is, sweetheart. Well, I have to give it to you. I'm actually having a little bit of an easy day tomorrow because we're going to have our beautiful Easter pasta because, yeah, I've been cooking meals and meals a day for over a month. <laughs> We have never ordered anything out, not even a pizza. So, yeah. So that's how that's been. I mean, it's great. It's fabulous. But sometimes you want something that I didn't cook. Because sometimes I just want something that somebody else cooked. Because I'm tired of tasting my own food, even though it's good. It's, it's good. It's great. I don't taste my own food anymore. I want somebody else's food. I mean, Nicolosi's, it can be whatever it is. But, okay, now I've got to turn this off, guys. Because as usual, the timing is completely off kilter. This is ready to go when the pasta is not. And that's sometimes how it is. So I've turned it down. And let me just stir my pasta, sweethearts. I want it really nice and al dente, but the pacpardelle doesn't take too long. And I'm just going to take, I'm taking some pasta water out with a mug. With a mug. I'm taking, see, I have my Campbell's soup mug. See what we're doing? I'm taking some of the pasta water out, a good cup of it, boom, boom, having it here in reserve. Because this needs pasta water. This needs the water to make it all come together, sweethearts. But I'm going to put that in after I've added the pasta. As you see, it's not a crazy rich, see? I mean, it's rich, but it's not cups and cups of cream. That's the thing. Let me just try it. Let me try it. Ooh, yeah. Also, I remember in the recipe, but the zest alone is fabulous. There's lemon juice in it at the end. That's what it is. Little lemon juice at the end. It's delicious. It's delicious. I can't wait. It's going to be so good once the cheese is in there. Woo! Fabuloso. Okay, lovies. You know I have to try a piece of the papadele to see if we're al dente enough. Okay. Mm, a little longer. A little longer. How do you guys know? Do you try it? We're close. The Italians would take it now. Yeah. In Italy, they like that bite to it. They would take it right this second. But, mmm. You're going to love this, guys. It's so delicious. But I'm going to wait just a couple more minutes. And then I'm going to get it out with this. Oh, you are? Okay. Because then, there'll be a little more pasta water clinging to it. And we'll dump it right in, sweethearts. It's going to be fantastic. Woo! Oh, yeah. You're going to love this, guys. This is such an easy... Thing. You can make this tomorrow. Do you have cream? Do you have pasta? Spaghetti would be fabulous too. Farafale would be great. Hi, Janet. How are you, sweetheart? Happy Easter. 
Yes, always try it. Always try the pasta. Never go by the package. Subtract like two minutes from the package because it's always overdone. Because here we like it a little more overdone. I like mine really al dente and then in the cooking in the sauce. It keeps cooking in the sauce, sweethearts. So I'm gonna bring it soon. I'm bringing it soon just because I want it more al dente than not. So as we see here, loveys, I'm gonna put it right in. Boop, here we go. Bear with me, bear with me, here we go. Put it right in. <laughs> here we go, that's it. We got it, we have it. A few more little pieces here, a couple stragglers, there we go. Bum. And I still have the pasta water, that's a great way. And I have it back on low, sweetheart. So this is what we're gonna do. Add a little pasta water and start to toss it, sweet peas, this is it. Start to toss it in that beautiful sauce. It is so great. It is gonna cook up in here. It's gonna thicken up, but the pasta water really helps to loosen it. We don't want a really heavy, heavy. Hi, Celeste, how are you? Hi, Trisha, hi, Kelly, how are you, loves? I'm finishing up my pasta, my beautiful lemon pasta here, sweethearts. Look at this. I have my beautiful Parmigiano Reggiano that I'm just shaving in. Loves, and we're gonna keep stirring. Keep tossing, keep tossing. That's the whole key with pasta water is you toss and toss and toss. And a little lemon juice. I squeeze it in right, boom, right there. Keep your hand there for any, any pits. You don't want any pits. No dental visits right now. <laughs> now, so just keep tossing that, loves. It is gonna be so fantastic. It is gonna be such a beautiful, unctuous, delicious sauce. So we just keep doing this. See, it's a beautiful sauce. So too thick. A lot of the cream sauces in the States I find are so overly thick. Hi. Hi, Rick. How are you, love? Everybody's in today. Happy Easter, loveys. This is my beautiful pappardelle a limone. Very simple sauce. Not too rich, even though there is heavy cream in it. And a little butter. But because we have that beautiful pasta water to thin it out, and we have our beautiful cheese, it's just a very thin delicious, beautiful sauce. Here we go, babes. Woo! And then I'm gonna also use a little bit of just the zest of the lemon of the top of it. I do have those big chunks in there that we're seasoning the water, but this is, mom's gonna, mom's gonna lose it. This is mom's, this is mom's stuff. This is the thing. Mom's gonna go cuckoo on this one. Cuckoo, raku, here it is. Here, mama, I'm gonna put a little on your dish. I know I should have a beautiful tongs and be doing it like that, but you know what? This is the Lamberti way. This is my Lamberti way. So here we go, buoys. I'm gonna put it in like that. Stop it cooking. I'm gonna put on some of the celery tops, sweethearts, just because it looks so pretty. You see, hi, sissy. Hi, loves. Look at the little celery tops, a little bit of green. I'm gonna put on a little bit of more, a little bit more Parmigiano Reggiano and black pepper on top. It is so easy, this sauce. Such an easy, beautiful, simple meal. Add some asparagus, add some peas. Beautiful spring meal. It could be primavera. You can add peas and asparagus, whatever type of Here you go, mama. Okay, Mom's too. trying it. Mom's trying it. We're gonna see how it is. Mom's trying it out. We're going for it. It's very hot. Just it's very hot. warm. Okay, it's very warm, but... Mm. Mm. Perfectly al dente. Perfectly al dente. Per perfectly al dente. <laughs> more salt? A little bit more salt. More salt. See, I didn't salt it, guys. I was going on the cheese, you know. I was going on the cheese alone of the Parmigiano Reggiano. Lemon. There it is. You can taste the lemon. You can taste the lemon. Yeah. You want to taste the lemon. It is pasta al limone, yeah. after all. Yep. Yep. And that's it. It's the pasta al limon. Well, lemon. there's an undercurrent of lemon because I have yes. lemon juice, lemon yes. zest, and it's delicious. A little more cheese. A little more cheese is always wonderful. Parmigiano Reggiano, Grana Padano, Pecorino, Thank whatever you. you want. It would be great in there, sweethearts. You want to taste? That's it. it. Yeah. I'm gonna taste the. I'm gonna take go. a bite and see, see love. Here we go. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful sauce. Yes, it's, it's a great sauce. <laughs> Here we are, loves. Oh yeah. I just love it. I can't give it up. It's Papadelle. Yes, it is, buggies. It is Papadelle. It is gorgeous. 
Oh. Put a little more squeeze of lemon yeah, in there. It can, take, yeah. it can take it. It can take more zest. Yeah. You could zest 70 lemons if it wouldn't be enough. Hi, Anna. Hi, heart. Yes. Oh, We're putting more lemon zest in and more lemon zest in. Mm -hmm. You can never have enough lemon zest. If it gets a little sticky, here's your pasta water buoys. Mm -hmm. Thin it out. Thin it out. It's all fine. You just keep tossing it and it'll come back to that beautiful, perfect texture. And the heat of the um, pasta water brings out that lemon zest. Yes, sissy, you want a bowl of this right now. Pasta al limone. That is it. Delicious. Woo! All over my clean shirt. Yes, I know. Isn't it fabulous? Make this, guys. Make this for Easter. Make it. It is so good. You're going to love it. It is great. You like it, Mama? I love it. Okay, there it is. It's not too heavy. It's no, not heavy at all. Hi, cream. Patricia. No, even though it's cream, you guys, it you see remind this. It you of the Alfredo sauces. No, 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 because a lot of the Alfredo sauces have a cup of cheese in cream. Yeah. They use so much butter. They use so much cream. And they, they'll use egg yolks, too. They'll use every single boom, boom, boom to put it in and a lot of butter. And then they this I thin out with the pot water, so it's very a thin sauce, so it's only coating the noodles quite a bit. So there it is. Pasta al limone. A little more cheese, because why not? And because we have it. There we go. I'm going to share this. I'm sharing this with my friend, Mrs. Ladd. Can it be made vegan? <laughs> well, sure. You can use a cashew cream. You could probably use a cashew cream. Or the vegan, um, you could use um, nutritional yeast and almonds instead of the Parmesan. You could use uh, cashew cream. You sure, I'm sure there's all those vegan creamy things you could use. I'm sure it could be vegan and tons of lemon. Sure you could. Not a problem. It is vegetarian. It's not vegan. <laughs> and it's not gluten-free. But you can find gluten-free pasta and do it. So it's not a problem either. Use the gluten-free pasta. They have a lot from Italy that's really, really good. I know my aunt uses it. Thanks. Thank you, Janet. Happy Easter to you, sweetheart. Yeah, it's very delicious. Very, very good. I'm going to try it right from here because I have to. And I'm just going to see now right here from the bowl. Boom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It needed a little more of that zest. So you need the big zest. Okay, so Allie's going to make it vegan and see. It won't oh, taste good. the same. No, no, it won't taste the same. But it'll, let's see if we could do it. Yeah. I want to try it because I put more zest in. Mm. Needs more zest. Mm-hmm. That's it, loves. It's that. It's that. It's that beautiful taste, and it's thinned out a little bit, and the lemon. See, try that. Okay. It's really good. That's it. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Wonderful. Fantastic, loves. Fantastic. We did it. We made our beautiful Easter pasta sauce. Um, thank you, sweetheart. Happy Easter to you and your family, sweetheart. Much love. Thank you, babe. Jovial, yeah, that's the best vegan brand of gluten-free pasta, Jovial. It's a great brand. My sister loves it. Called Jovial. It's fabulous. So this is great, loves. Look, I mean, big pieces of lemon zest. Mm. It's delicious. I love eating it like that. Mm. Fabulous. It is so good. There we are, lovies. We did it. Fast one today, huh? Cheers, lovies. So tomorrow, I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow, alle tre. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to be cooking anything because we're going to have Easter, but I promise we're going to sing something. We'll see what type of voice I'm in. You've never done a live vocal <laughs> before. <laughs> I find it scarier than doing these. These aren't scary. Me. Doing live voice stuff, you never know what's going to happen. There it is. But uh, we're going to sing some stuff for you guys. So come on in. Beautiful Easter. Grazie mille. Ci vediamo domani. Have a beautiful Buon Pasqua. Happy Easter. Um, happy Passover to all of you out there, loves. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Get out there. It's a gorgeous weather today, but stay safe, stay put, stay cooking. And I will see you tomorrow. Thanks so much, loves. Ciao. Ciao, ciao, ciao.